It has the grace of a Bandini sculpture and contours that could have been carved by Michelangelo. The Bizzarini 5300 GT has classic Italian styling written all over it. But for its actual creator, this sports car wasn't just about its captivating looks. It bears the hallmark of Giotto Bizzarini, arguably the most talented racing car constructor of the 1960s. The 5300 GT's mission was to leave the competition for dust on the racetrack and fill its creator with pride. Bizzarini. The very name still makes Ferrari or Maserati owners nervous. Its maker had high hopes of it becoming the new star in the sports car horizon on the back of Triumphs on the track. But this supernova on four wheels fizzled out all too rapidly. Today, most people wouldn't even recognize a 5300 GT. Erich Oswald is the happy owner of one of these rare racers. The 5300 GT was built between 1964 and 68 in a limited edition. According to some sources, production amounted to just 70 hand-assembled specimens. Giotto Bizzarini was born in Livorno in 1926. He is considered one of the most influential constructors in the history of motorsports. He spent five years at Ferrari as developer, designer, test driver, and chief engineer. Among his accomplishments there, the iconic GTO. Eventually, there was a clash of egos between him and boss Enzo Ferrari, leading to his departure. The GTO went on to clock up a string of victories and remains one of the most valuable and hotly desired racing cars of all time. For some people, the greatest Ferrari ever. Models have been auctioned for up to $30 million. Only 39 were built. Back to Giotto Bizzarini. After being recruited by Renzo Revolta, he created the Iso Grifo, a high-performance Gran Turismo with American engineering on board. But Bizzarini wanted more. He built a two-seater competition car based on the Grifo. His boss, Rivolta, wanted to sell cars rather than burn money on the racetrack, however. The two, likewise, parted ways. Bizzarini took his latest creation with him and named it the Bizzarini 5300 GT. The V8 engine was, like that in the Grifo, taken from the Chevrolet Corvette. Pizzarini was the first to come up with a front mid-engine, explains proud owner Erich. Engines on top of the axle have a far higher center of gravity. An engine below and behind the axle is far lower, which gives you a massive advantage in terms of handling. It's still copied today. From the very start of his career, when he was making bigger cars, Bizzarini had a preference for high-capacity American engines over their smaller, high-powered Italian rivals. He also once tried to convince Ferrari to construct a large displacement engine with lower rev levels. The 5.4-liter V8, complemented by a battery of twin Weber carburetors, pumps out 360 horsepower. And that's in the basic version. The engine is unusually far back. The only access to the distributor cap was via an opening on the dashboard. to the wheel of a Bizzarini, and you're left in no doubt that it was constructed for the track. The full-blooded V8, propelling a two-seater weighing just 1,100 kilos, delivers the kind of ferociousness otherwise associated with modern super sports cars. 
the GT is not meant for a jaunt in the countryside. The 5300 GT was launched into action on the track against Ferrari to give Bizzarini revenge for his dismissal by his former employer. And he did win a few times. At the 1,000 kilometer race at Monza in 1965, for example, the 5300 GT left all the GTOs in its tracks. But the car maker was unable to follow up on that success, not least because of a lack of funds. Eric Oswald's prize beauty is the first of just 10 Corsa editions featuring a lightweight body. Pizzarini went with this car, which previously had an aluminum body, to a boat construction in Italy. Together, they built a fiberglass body. Pizzarini then made nine more courses. Today, the 5300 GT is a member of a very exclusive club. Anyone who owns one will be desperate to hold on to it. Potential buyers are looking at a six-figure price tag, whatever condition it's in. Most recently, a 5300 GT changed hands for over a half a million euros. For the vast majority of auto aficionados, a Bizzarini will always be just a dream. <laughs>